What is it? He's going to sacrifice himself. No, you can't! There must be another way! Well, sometimes when you read in data, the data's read in fine, but then there's bizarre outliers. And how do you handle that? And is there another way or options? Let's take a look at an example. I'm looking for a data set called Hospital, where we have how many hospital staff there are based off the number of patients. And so we want to be able to predict what the staff level should be based off how many patients we expect to be coming. Notice that I can read in the data just fine. The question is not whether there was an error, but how does the data look? Oh, because I forgot to say data equals hospital. Hmm. Well, does it look like changing the number of patients affects the staff size? Not so much, but that might be because there's one data point that's way high up there. I'm going to click on my data set and just kind of scroll through the staff values to see if I can. Wow! There it is right there. 99999. Do I really believe that this hospital, which had about 381 patients, had 100,000 staff members? Probably not. Of course, I made up this data, so I don't know how realistic it is to have 464 staff members. But it's common in real data sets for people to use 99999 as a code for this was missing or we don't have this number. It kind of wrecks havoc for us in the statistics side because it looks like a number. And I could do statistics on this, but that outlier is really going to cause things to go off crazy. To show you just how crazy, I'm going to go ahead and run the fit. I'm going to call it bad fit specifically because we know that this data set has errors that we have not collected. So if I plot the residuals, what do I see? Well, I don't see random scatter the way I would have expected. Uh, I guess the dots are following the normal curve fine, except for that one. Here we're seeing similar to the first plot, but look at the residual leverage plot. See these fences? Any dot outside this fence should cause us to worry. Maybe it's an error. A dot outside the second fence, even more worry. It doesn't guarantee it's an error, but it does mean we should really carefully look at it. I'm going to show you the summary so that we have something to compare with when we fix it correctly. So what do we need to do with this data point? Now listen carefully. Just because a data point is an outlier does not mean that you should delete it. If it's an error, that's when you can say, okay, this is bad data, I should delete it. But if something's an outlier because on rare occasions outliers happen, then you shouldn't delete it. It has to be an error. So if I saw a data point like this and I knew that it was a very high staff value, I can click on the word staff and it'll sort it. Clicking it again sorts the high one and I see, ah, this is way too high. And it looks like the 99999 code people used to say, we don't know what value this is. So now that I know it's an error, I want to take it out of my data set. To do this, I'm going to use the square bracket notation. I want my box of hospital data. What should I have in it? Well, let's put the hospital data in it. Right now we haven't done anything. The square bracket notation right here says all the rows and all the columns. So right now this doesn't do anything. But I don't want all the rows. I only want rows where the hospital staff values are below some level. What level? It looks like 1,442 is the highest. So if I draw a line at 2,000, what that's going to do is draw a line here and keep everything below that line, which will keep everything except this outlier. Notice I have 300 observations in my data set right now. It says that right here. And when I run this line, it drops to 299. Let's go back to this plot. What does it look like now? Ah, uh, much better. I can see the relationship between patients and staff. But we still have a data point right here that's causing problems. It's a low number of patients. If I go up here and click on patients, it's a negative 938. Well, you can't have negative 938 patients. Obviously, that's wrong. Could it be because this is bad data and should be deleted? Or could it be because it just needs to be turned positive? Because it looks like that would put it about in the right place. A situation like this is a judgment call. Should we delete it or should we turn it positive? And I'm okay with either way you decide. Because I just showed you how to delete a data point, now I'm going to show you how to turn it positive. 
I'm going to include the code here, comment it out, but the code that would have deleted this negative value if we wanted that, let's only take patients that are greater than or equal to zero. Instead, I'm going to turn it positive. The way I'm going to do that is first by saying I want the hospital patient values. Which ones? Only the ones where the hospital patient value is less than zero. So far, this command doesn't actually change anything. It only finds the value right here, that negative 938. What do I want to do with it? Well, I want to change it. How do I want to change it? Well, let me grab this and copy paste it. Right now, we're not doing anything. I'm saying take that negative 938 and put it back into the negative 938. And if I come here and say multiply it by negative 1, now negative 938 multiplied by negative 1 is a positive 938, and it puts that back into the slot where the negative 938 was. I'm going to size this out so you can see the whole bit of code. There we go. We haven't lost any data points because all I did was move it. If I grab my plot right here and do this again, now we can see that all of our outlier data points are gone. If I redo my fit now with the corrected data, my residuals look much better, follow the normal, which they were before, but now we don't have any data points that are outside those red fences. And my summary is, oh, summary is spelled with two M's. It says 266 and 0.29. If you recall what we had before, very different than 266 and 0.29. Also notice the p-value was 0.6, meaning we really couldn't show that there was an effect. Coming down here, the p-value now has dropped to zero. It's much easier to see the effect because those outliers aren't in the data set messing up your results.